Welcome, problem-solving fans, to another problem of the day. This one's all about pieces of ribbon. So a piece of ribbon is five metres long. Gina and Liam each use part of the ribbon to wrap a present. Gina's going to use 1.6 metres, Liam's going to use 256 centimetres. Now the first thing that should ring an alarm bell in your head is that we've got different units here. We've got this is in metres, this is in metres, this is in centimetres. Now really what we want is all the measurements to be in the same unit. So we could turn them all into metres, and if we did that, well, 5 would stay the same, 1.6 would stay the same, and 256 would become 2.56 metres. So we could have them all in metres, and if we did that, we would first of all add up what we've got so far. So we've got Gina cutting off 1.6 metres of ribbon, and Liam cutting off 2.56. Notice how I've lined the decimal points up and then put 2.56 underneath so that we've got the units digits in the correct columns lined up with one another. If there's an empty space here, we can put a zero in and then add them up. Zero add six is six. Six add five is 11. One plus two plus one is four. So they are, Gina and Liam are using 4.16 meters of ribbon. And the remaining ribbon is basically going to be the difference between the 5 meters at the start and the 4.16 meters. So 5 meters is 5.00 meters and 4.16 we need to cut off so to see what's left to see what is the remaining ribbon. So we've got 0 take away 6 we can't do. So borrow, but we can't borrow from this 0 here. So we need to borrow from the 5. The 5 becomes a 4, and this here becomes 10. Now we need to borrow from this 10. The 10 becomes 9, and then when we borrow it makes the end 0 into 10. 10 take away 6 is 4. 9 take away 1 is 8. 4 take away 4 is nothing. So 0.84. So we've basically got 0.84 metres of ribbon left. And this would need to be divided by 7. So the remaining ribbon is this 0.84. And it is being cut or divided by 7. So we need to do 0.84 divided by 7. 7's Seven into 0 won't go. 7 into 8 is once remainder 1. That 1 that I've carried now makes 14. And 7 into 14 goes twice. So put the decimal point in. And we've basically got 0.12 metres. So your answer is 0.12 metres. We could have done everything slightly differently. Now we could actually have turned everything into centimetres. So 5 metres would have been 500 centimetres. 1.6 metres would have been 160 centimetres. So we could, have, we could have then added those together. So we could have added 160 add 256, which is basically the same of this, but without the decimal points. We would have still got 416. We would have then turned the 5.00 into 500. So we would have done 500 take away 416. And with a little bit of borrowing like we showed earlier, we would have ended up with 84 um, centimetres. And 84 centimetres divided by 7 would have still been 12 centimetres. So whichever way we do it, we could end up with 0 0.12 metres or 12 centimetres. 0.12 metres or 12 centimetres. Both of those answers are correct. It's just that they're using different units. So especially with a units question, it's important to be clear about which units you're actually using.